Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about the five senses. Do you know what they are? I have a picture that shows them here. We have smell, sight, taste, hearing, and touch. Smell, sight, taste, hearing, and touch. And we see the sight comes from our eyes. Yes, we see with our eyes, we smell with our nose, we hear with our ears, we taste with our tongue. Can you stick it out? Wiggle it around? Very good. And we touch with our fingers. That's right. So we have five senses. And we're going to do an experiment that's going to involve our sight today. But before we do that experiment, um, what do we use again for our, our sense of sight? Our eyes. That's right. We can see with our eyes. We can look with our eyes, observe, watch, view, peep, or peek. All those words are words that describe sight. Do you know what that word says? There's a hint, it's a nose, yes, smell. We smell with our nose. We can sniff with, we smell odors or aromas or scents. Those are words that describe different smells. Or stench, that's a word that describes a stinky smell. Do you know what this sense is? Ears, hearing, that's right. We hear with our ears, we hear sounds, we listen, we can tell, we can hear noise. There's another hear word and audible. Things are audible when we can hear them. So those are words that go with hearing. And our last sense is, no, nope, fourth sense is taste. We taste with our tongue or our mouth and these are words that describe taste flavor or we can lick to get flavor sip some some tastes are tasty and some are yucky Ugh, can you make a yucky face oh can you make a yummy face mm, yes that's very good i wonder what kind of things you like to taste and what kinds of things you don't like to taste and our fifth sense is touch. Touch. Yes, we touch with our skin. We can feel hot or cold. We can feel soft things or hard things. We can hold things. We can tap things. We can pet things. And isn't pet, petting a pet a lot of fun to do? And they like it too, usually, as long as we're not rough. All right, so we're going to also talk about the touch because I have two containers here. One is a container of ice. You see the ice floating there? I hope you can see it. And one is a container of warm water. Yes, I have here, can you see this? A bottle of water that I put blue dye into. Some food coloring is what I did. So if it spills on my, my hands, it's gonna make a mess, but it's not gonna hurt me. If I keep my hand in this water, it is so hot that it will not feel very comfortable. I wonder what will happen to the water in our bottle because it's right full if I put it in the hot water. Let's see, because boys and girls, when we put something that's not hot into the hot water, it expands. When things are heated, they expand. Everything in the world is made up of molecules and the molecules move really fast. And when they're moving fast, they're bumping into each other and moving further apart. So what should happen is we should see some blue water rise up in this little, um, straw and I see it coming. I wonder if you can see it coming. It's all clear right now. Do you see the little bits of blue coming up at the bottom? I wonder how far it will come. 
Do you see it going higher? So it's just showing there. Look at that. It's coming up because our molecules inside, the water inside that bottle is warming up because it's sitting in hot water. And so those molecules are expanding. They are moving further apart. And so it pushes the water up, up that straw. Now I've had to use plasticine to make sure that no, no um, leaks will form and the water will go into my water that's in the container. Look at that. Do you see how high it's going? Before it wouldn't, it wasn't even showing. And now look how high it is, almost half, more than halfway up. Let's see if it will go a little higher. I don't want it to come right out. And I have cold water, ice water here. What do you think is gonna happen, boys and girls? Can you make a prediction about what will happen to the water coming up here if I put this bottle that's in hot water back in cold water. What do you think is gonna happen? The molecules should stop moving so much, shouldn't they? And they should go closer together and they should um, make the water decrease. Look at how high it is, almost at the top. So I'm gonna pull it out now very carefully. And when I pull it out, it may come out a little bit, not too much though. And I'm gonna put it in the cold water and see Oh, see what will happen. Got to move some ice out of the way. It's not going to stand up very good. Oh, look, it went all the way down. Do you see that? There's no blue water coming out. It's not, it's not even showing there. Well, let's stick it back in the hot water and see what happens. I don't know why it wouldn't stand up there. Let's see if it rises up again. I'm just gonna get a cloth because I spilt here. Is it rising up again? Might take a little while. I think there was a piece of ice underneath and that's why it wouldn't rise up. So what I used for this experiment, and you can try it at home, is an empty water bottle, which I filled right to the top with, well, just about to the top with water. And then I added a bunch of food coloring to make it a different color. And then I used plasticine and a straw. A clear straw works best because then you can see it rise up easy. And then ice water and hot water. I didn't boil my water because I thought maybe my water bottle would melt or change shape or something. So, but it was very hot water. So you could try this at home. And it's like the way, this shows exactly the way a thermometer works. When it's warm outside, the thermometer has some red, usually red ink, but it can be any color, blue, and it will rise, it goes up. When the temperature is warm outside, when the air is warm, then it makes that liquid rise in the thermometer. So this is a thermometer that you can make at home. And when something is hot, see it's starting to rise again. It's starting to come up. The molecules are moving apart and up it comes. It expands. It makes the water um, to be more. The volume of the water grows. It increases. When we put it in cold water, the volume of the water decreases because it's cold. Just like a thermometer, if it's cold outside, that stuff inside the thermometer starts going down. Look at how it's coming up again. I'll just let it come up a little bit more and then we'll stick it back in the cold water one more time to see. Watch it go up and then we'll watch it go down. I love science, boys and girls. I hope you love science. There's so many experiments that you can do that are a lot of fun and interesting because science helps us to make sense of the world, to understand the things around us and to measure things. We need math also to measure things and we need to know how to read so that we can write down what we see. If we're doing experiments, when you make predictions, then you should also write down your observations, what you actually see happen. So look how it's coming up again. It's close, close to the top there. 
Can you see it? I wonder if I should move that so that you can see a little better. I don't know what makes it able to see it better. Maybe right there along that. And you see the dark blue going up higher and higher. And then we'll stick it back in our cold water. And what should it do? Like last time, it should go down. Because science, when we do experiments, we don't do them just once. We do them over and over to make sure. Does that happen every time? Every time, if we haven't changed anything in an experiment, we should be able to repeat it. Okay, so it's very, very high. Now let's carefully move it out and put it in our ice water. Try to get that ice off the bottom so it can sit and we can watch it. What should happen? It should go down. So you see it against my black shirt, how high it is. There's just a little bit of white there at the top of the straw. And we'll see if it goes down. It should go down as it cools. <laughs> Sometimes experiments take just a few minutes, like this one. Sometimes they take a long time. When you're five or six years old, all experiments seem to take a long time. But look and see how this one's already coming down. The blue water in there is going down. <laughs> very cool. Boys and girls, I want you to know you are very important. You were created for a purpose and I hope you find out what that is. And all you have to do is follow the things that you're good at, the things that you're interested in, and, and keep doing those things. And if it gets tough, if it gets hard, should you quit? No, keep trying because you can do hard things. And who knows what kinds of things you'll discover along the way. And always remember, you're smart, you're important, and you're very loved. And see how it's come down hasn't come down all the way yet, but I think it will. Shall we wait a little bit longer and just see? And then I'll say goodbye to you. Science is amazing, isn't it? And you are amazing too. You can do all kinds of things. You're getting bigger every day. I wonder what would happen if I move it around to new spots where it will get more cold water. Look at that. It's gone almost all the way down. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.